what is going on guys it is fatal reaper hey back here again with another video we are on the age for the villain gaming laptop as always don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe now let's talk about today's video we're talking about how to keep your gaming laptop uh, this is going to work for the HP Pavilion or any other gaming laptop, so to speak. We're going to be talking about how to keep it from overheating. So in this first portion of the video, uh, I'm not talking. You can't, you know, you, you don't really see what's... The only thing that's going on right now is I'm undervolting the laptop. Now, I'm not going to show you the full video. I have a full video that's going to pop up here in the t uh, about two minutes in. If you'll look up here on... Uh, the top right corner, the video will pop up. I will also have a link in the description for the full video of how to undervolt your laptop. This portion is just for me to explain that undervolting your laptop can also, um, so to speak, lower your temps and keep it from overheating. Uh, it's not an always a 100% guarantee, but it is a big portion that will help out in the long run, and it's something good to do. And again, full-length video is down in the description below, as well as it'll pop up here on the little uh, top right on uh, two minutes in. Now, this next portion of the video you're about to see is uh, basically over, uh, I'm going to be talking about the cooling pad that you can get. Now, you don't have to get this one. It can be any cooling pad. Again, this goes for any laptop or gaming laptop, so to speak. It's not just for the HP Pavilion. We're just using the HP Pavilion for this example uh, because, you know, this, this is a gaming laptop that I have. But this will work for other gaming laptops as well. You can undervolt it. Um, different now, different laptops, depending on your CPU and everything, you can uh, do a different voltage or offset voltage for your undervolt. Um, but you know, if you have the HP Pavilion, this is going to be the correct undervolt uh, offset voltage you can use. Again, all right. So if you want to see that full length video, you can go click it. It's going to pop up right here in the top right uh, screen, or you can you know go down in the description below or check out my playlist. This next portion of the video, we are on. Uh, as you can see here my cooling pad so we're gonna take the laptop off here in just a second uh, and just let you see the cooling pad this is on the max speed you can see down here it's nothing too you know too crazy it's and of course right here you ha do have two fans in the laptop already so you've got your two fans sometimes though you know that's just not enough and you want some extra cool you know you see a lot of people with uh, uh, custom-built PCs they got a bunch of fans and I myself have like uh, three four different fans Actually, correction, I have three, four, I have about five different, five cooling fans. So this is basically essentially what that is, but with a gaming laptop. And as you can see, it's pretty standard. It's got the USB to plug up to power it. You can turn it on, uh, turn on the lights. You can turn them on and off. It's, you know, it, it adds some different, you know, color to it. And it kind of has, it kind of has a more appeal, kind of like a custom gaming PC would with all the lights and everything. You kind of make it look cool. You can get different ones that have more lights. You can get bigger ones. Uh, this one right here was, I believe, about the 5060 range. There will be a link down in the description below if you guys want to see this cooling pad. Again, it's a really good cooling pad. I've not had any issues out of it. Um, it looks really cool, and it really uh, kind of sets the... It really kind of enhances the gaming experience with the gaming laptop, and especially the HP Pavilion here. Uh, kind of complements each other. Uh, again, you could get different colors, and I believe you can change the colors on here. I don't think... You, I, actually, this one... Cor correction. You, I think... It's just all colors and does it on the right side there. I don't think you can actually manipulate that portion, but you can manipulate the fan speed. It's got one to five, five being the max. I usually keep it on five. It's not loud or anything. Um, and of course, it does cool your laptop. And you can you know you can raise it up. It has this little uh, little back part here. You can raise up the cooling pad and all that. So this guy's in basically in short is diff two different ways. Two of the biggest ways that you can basically keep your gaming laptop from overheating now if you're getting about on this gaming uh, this laptop or any other gaming laptop if you're getting about the 70 to 80 to 90 range but you're playing on the charger which is what i do don't really worry about it that's not that big of a deal your attempts are going to be elevated due to the charging but if you're getting anything over 100 you do might want to go seek you know more help for the gaming laptop and stuff like that other than that, guys, that's the video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys got any questions, leave me some comments down below. This is the two biggest ways that you can do to your gaming laptop for the HP Pavilion or other gaming laptops to stop them from overheating. Hope you guys, again, enjoyed the video. There's some links down in the description below for everything you saw here. And, again, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.